<laughs> Hello, Connor. Hello, Yuri, Yurko, George, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm very well. How are you today? Yeah, good, good. Thank you very much. So our honored guest is Connor Armstrong, and I welcome you to this interview. Super. So to begin with, could you tell us please something about your job? What do you do for a living? Okay, for a living, um, I have a company that uh, cleans cont contaminated land, land with pollution in it. Mm -hmm. So um, if you have, have land with maybe metal in it or asbestos or hydrocarbons like oil or any other types of pollution, pollution sewage, um, our company comes in, assesses the land, finds out how widespread the pollution is, how deep it is, and then we design a strategy to fix it, to remediate it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we come in at the end and we validate the land to show that it's now safe for whatever the intended purpose is. How about uh, recently or in the past, have you worked on any interesting projects worth mentioning? The um, huge variety of projects we've worked on. I've, I've worked on everything from um, domestic houses to nightclubs. Um, I've worked on um, an ammunition factory. Um, I worked on I worked on an old um, project in Scotland one time. Mm -hmm. It was um, it was a factory. It was a site that a factory was on in the nineteen hundreds. Um, late 1800s, early 1900s, and the site, the factory that was there made candles mm -hmm. and all the um, old wax and residue was in the ground. Um, mm -hmm. And when you dug a hole on this site, the hole filled up with what looked like black tar, mm -hmm. but um, pretty unusual site. Um, but yeah, nice one. Um, what else have I done? I've done schools. Um, I've done uh, fire stations. Um, um, I've done oil refineries. Um, lots of different stuff. Anywhere really where there's pollution, you know, mm -hmm. you can get involved and help. What about? Uh, I will change this question a little bit. I wanted to ask about your future plans, but before I will ask about the trends, future trends in the field. What are the future trends in your field of expertise? Oh. Um, a big thing is um, governments at the moment um, want to sort of preserve the countryside and they want to keep nature as it is and they generally prefer that people don't um, develop or build in the countryside. They want to try to get people to use, um, use land that's already in cities or towns. Um, so there's a load of a lot of old historical land use that would be in maybe the likes of um, Dublin and Ireland, where I come from, or London, or here in Prague. Mm -hmm. and um, But the land is very, very heavily contaminated from mm -hmm. old use that maybe would have happened 50, 100 or mm -hmm. older beyond that. Mm -hmm. But in order to, um, to develop that land, a company like what we do has to come in and um, deal with what's in there, deal with the risks and take mm -hmm. those risks away. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I can see that coming even more so now in the future Um, a greater um, push by governments to develop what are called brownfield sites, these old sites, rather than use the greenfield sites that are in the countryside. Does, so it, uh, hopefully align the or is it, does it align or is it in connection with your future plans, these trends? Will you um, Yeah, the I've, I've always had a history in, in environmental and preserving nature, so if I could do anything to help with that, I'm mm -hmm. all for it. So I would like you to, if you have any questions, put down in the comment for Connor. He will be more than happy to answer these questions. This is for the audience, for our audience. In which countries, Connor, do you operate? Um, started initially in Northern Ireland. Um, we have our headquarters in, in Northern Ireland at the moment. Um, I, we also have a presence in the Republic of Ireland. We are present in the United Kingdom. In um, we have an office in Coventry, in England, and an office in London. Mm -hmm. And from there, so a lot of our work is is mostly Ireland, and um, some in the UK, but we have done some projects abroad as well. Um, I did in Iraq, 
in in Iraq, I did a, a harbor that a lot of drums of um, or barrels of oil has spilt out, and the barrels had bitumen in them in, in them and destroyed the harbor. And um, we dealt with that, and I dealt with a site one time in Australia um, that had a former uh, site on it where firemen firemen would train to put out fires on aircraft mm -hmm. and the firefighting foam had get into the water the under the the groundwater mm -hmm. and the groundwater had made its way and contaminated and mm -hmm. um, the the drinking supply of a town mm -hmm. so mostly mostly ireland mostly uk but i have done some projects abroad as well i thank you very much for you what you're doing because our planet our earth uh, needs this, I think. This is very important job. Thank you for that. And uh, mm. tell me one, one last final message. Uh, what would you tell to the audience, like in the takeaway message? One short takeaway message. Um, come and use my company. <laughs> um, no, listen. I, I, you know, for for the company that I run, I try to be very easy with my staff and try to be um, um, have a friendly, nice work environment. Um, I try to. Um, do the best service I can for my for, for the customers. Um, I try to solve their problems as best I can. Mm -hmm. um, I love learning new things. I love working with new people. Mm -hmm. And um, if I can grow my business beyond the United Kingdom and Ireland and do more work in other countries, I'm mm -hmm. all for that. Thank you very much, Conor Armstrong. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for your time, Yuri. Thank you.